mini vlog i'm having a spring photo shoot today that i wanted to treat myself to and today has so far been kind of hectic i went to sleep really early last night at 10 p.m and that's not really my usual but i've been trying to get more sleep and get better sleep so that i can prepare for the next day and have better days but i guess because i'm not used to going to sleep early my body is kind of like girl what the hell are you trying to do so not only did i have a hard time getting up this morning because like i got a lot of sleep but my body was like oh okay since we're getting sleep we can sleep all day no that's not the case we actually have to get up so i went to class but i ended up being 15 minutes late because i just for some reason i had a hard time getting up and then when i went to class you know we were doing things got assignments got what i was supposed to do for the rest of the week and then I left my first class, went to my second class, and we had a whole new professor, wasn't ready for that, didn't know anything about that. But I went in there, she gave us the information, and we actually got out early, so I was like, okay, cool. Went to Green Wise, I picked up these flowers for the shoot. I'll tell you guys more about what these flowers are going to be used for. But I picked up these flowers, they were $26, $27 actually when tax came on. Inflation is really bad right now. This bouquet of flowers is $25.99. I don't know a lot about flowers. Like I can't tell you half of the flowers in this bouquet. Like I know there's a rose and I think that that is a camellia child. I don't know. And there's like some cactus things or looking like things. I don't know. I just wanted to say that I have no idea about like the pricing, but $25 seems a little steep for flowers but I got them anyways for my shoot because my original idea that I wanted to do for the shoot was it's going to be outside in a garden it's going to be very nature-esque picnic-esque just you know garden fairy type things and I wanted to do just blue jeans and no shirt no top just you know boobies but obviously I'm not taking pictures with my boobies out I'm going to have the flowers like this I'll probably take the plastic off of them, but I have the flowers like this, you know, I do my little posing things, you know what I mean? So these are the jeans that I plan to wear. I think these are the same jeans from my solo trip to Houston video and also the Tyler the Creator video. It's like every time I record, I just happen to be wearing these jeans. These are my favorite jeans. I got them from my friend Destiny and I think they are by... They're by George, whoever George is. If that doesn't work because we are going to be in public and public indecency is a thing, I have this swimsuit because it's getting warmer and swimsuit season is upon us. I have a swimsuit top. I got it from Sam Flair. I was sponsored by them like a long time ago when I first came to college, but I didn't really do a lot with that sponsorship. I wish I did more. And I originally had the bottoms that went with that, but I lost them. I don't know where they are. So I got these bottoms from Target they were like ten dollars and then to go with that I have this it's like a bridal shower robe cover-up type thing and it's going to go with the bathing suit we're probably going to end up taking pictures with both outfit options just to see like how everything looks but for the bikini thing you know I'm trying to really give I'm about to oil myself up after the shower I'm about to make sure my skin is nice and moisturized I'm also not going to be wearing my locks out my locks and my hair in general has just been through a lot and I'm trying to take better care of them by doing more protective styles that don't involve them being out because they have my hair has been very 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 dry and i've been trying to just take better care of it so i'm just gonna be putting it away a word out um to class because i do want to get used to like the lock look but i'm also trying to take care uh, take better care of it and do protective style so today i'm going to be putting on my afro wig the link is going to be down below in the description if you're interested in buying it yourself because it is a very convenient wig when i tell y'all i literally just throw this wig on whenever i need to like if it's something and i need to look good really really quick and i don't have time to either retwist my locks or put my locks in the style i just throw this wig on so that's what i'm about to do and i just wanted to give you guys a little preface of everything that i have going on before i get in the shower and i have no time once i'm out of the shower and i start getting ready it's currently like two something and the photo shoot isn't until five 
but I wanted to have enough time to really like get ready. I am so anxious today y'all like I don't know what it is. I don't know what's going on with like my head today but it's like I can't focus on one thing. I'm always like okay what, are, what am I going to do next? What am I going to say next? But what I was saying is that I just wanted to have time to fully get ready, oil my body down, moisturize, and then actually have time for myself to really calm down because obviously I'm really up here right now and just get myself in the mode figure out how i want to pose figure out what looks i want to do and really just get in the zone because it's go time i'm really excited i'm so glad for myself i'm so thankful and appreciative to myself for giving myself this opportunity because this is something that i have been wanting to do for a while and i haven't really made plans to do it this will be the first year that i actually like post myself wearing a bikini and that's a really big word for elmo so i'm gonna just go ahead and get into it i'm gonna get in the shower and then i'll come out and i'll try to you know talk through me getting ready but we will see i really just need to calm down and get my head you know on straight because she's a little loose right now but i will see you guys after i take a shower so i just got out of the shower i already did my you know preliminary oiling. I use the Fenty Skin Butter Drop to go ahead and lotion up my skin. You know, we looking nice and moisturized. I'm probably going to put more oil on there, but for right now, I look good. I just didn't want to go overboard because I still have like a little less than two hours to get ready and I wanted to wait until I was really getting ready to go to put the oil on that way I wasn't transferring oil everywhere and then every single surface in my room was literally oily so I'm gonna go ahead take this off I'm probably going to corn roll my locks back because I don't know how to barrel roll yet update on my locks I want to, I don't know, I'm a little insecure about my locks. They look good. I like how they look. I don't want to cut my hair off anymore. I'm not screaming and crying every time I look at them. I think that they look really fine. It's just that my hair is like super dry and I'm not used to my hair being this dry. I'm not used to neglecting my hair as much as I have been. So I have been, you know, just a little insecure about that because I know that I can take a better care of my hair but I haven't been but now I'm trying to as I said I don't know how to barrel roll yet I haven't you know learned how to do any of the little lock style things and I need to because I keep just putting my hair in ponytails and it's kind of like putting a crimp like a permanent crimp in my locks I mean I don't even really have to do this I could just put my hair in a ponytail mm, let's see save myself some of that turmoil and just put my hand in place sorry if i'm looking behind the camera my mirror is behind where i'm recording from and i'm looking in it to make sure that i don't look like a clown <laughs> if you want to know my skincare routine go ahead and click the video right there yeah video right there i've already gone and put my locks into a ponytail this should work because this hair is so big so you wouldn't be able to tell that my hair is in a ponytail anyways but let's just talk about my day and how life has been since the last time that i did a little chit chat i do have plans to finish the welcome to heartbreak video i just did not have time that night and i also haven't had time ever since the night that i recorded that and i've just been really busy and really trying to make more time for myself and I haven't really had time to sit down and record the rest of that video but it is coming soon but I did want to also give you guys some happier content me being happy I think it's very easy to get stuck in periods of life like that and thinking that you know all of your happy times are limited and it's always going to result in you being low again it's very easy to be like what's the point of you know trying to do all of this other stuff when at the end of the day i'm just gonna be sad that's not the case life just happens in cycles and sometimes you're in the lowest part of the cycle before you go up and while you're in this low part you need to really figure out you know the things that have resulted in you getting to this low part there's no way to avoid going through the low cyclical part of life but there are ways to Make sure that the next time that you go through that cycle, you're a little bit better and able to be equipped to handle whatever happens. So I've just been trying to learn from what happened in that low part of my life and really use that to push myself forward into this happier part. I'm not saying that I'm only going to do the rest of that video when I'm in a lower cyclical point of my life again, but I am definitely not focused on that right now and I do plan to do it while I'm happy 
um it just hasn't happened yet so i just wanted to give you guys that disclaimer i'm gonna go ahead and fluff my hair out because it's big but i know it could be bigger but anyways um let's talk about my day i already told you guys that i tried to go to sleep earlier last night and i ended up getting a lot more sleep than i usually get i went to sleep at 10 on the dot too like it wasn't even like i was in bed at 10 like no i was in bed at 8 and i was reading a book i started reading again guys life is really looking up but i started reading and then once i got tired i went to sleep and it was literally like 10 and i know that it was 10 because at like 9 56 i put something out on the table for tatiana so she could grab it and i have to like come in my room and get it but it was 9 56 when that happened and then i went to sleep and then i woke up this morning at 7 30 and i was like okay um my class doesn't start until 9 40. I can, you know, sleep in for like 30 more minutes. But when I, I realized that when I take advantage of any time that I have to hit snooze and just stay in bed, I end up just, you know, waiting until the very last minute to get up and I don't eat breakfast and I end up um, getting something on the way to class, which is fine every once in a while. But after a while, it starts to rack up and Starbucks has really been putting a dent in my account and I just got another lump sum of money and I'm really trying to take better care of my finances so i need to not do that and i need to start getting up when i say i want to get up because i do have food in my house it's not like i don't have food in my house i don't need to eat out every single damn day i don't need to be getting starbucks every single goddamn day i'm just being <laughs> i'm just being lazy uh because it is more convenient to have someone make breakfast for you than it is for you to get up and give yourself more time in the morning to make breakfast for yourself but that is what I need and that is what I'm going to do for the rest of this week because if I buy another goddamn $12 order from Starbucks I'm going to literally like <sighs> I'm, I'm gonna scream like it's ridiculous and I know it's ridiculous and I need to stop that has been like my advice Starbucks has me in a chokehold but not even just Starbucks like I also find myself eating out a lot more even though I have food in my house I just don't I've gotten out of the habit of cooking, which is really bad because that means that I'm eating out a lot. I could be spending money on better things like, you know, I don't, I don't really know. <laughs> What's better than food? The way that I can't come up with anything that's better than food to spend my money on. But even if I'm not spending money, I could be saving it for something that I want to do later on. Like for my birthday, I want to go to Vegas and I want to do another solo trip so that's gonna cost a lot of money because i'm going by myself i'm not splitting it with anyone so that's something that i could be saving for but no i i want to spend money at starbucks every goddamn day and rack up like what's 12 times 7 four hold on y'all hold on that's 94 dollars every week that's what 400 dollars a month and then four times 400 times 12 is i'm pretty sure that's forty eight hundred dollars every year i can't keep doing that i don't I, i'm not making money like that so yeah it, yeah it's time to put an end to that but also it's not even just starbucks like i have a coffee addiction and i've been trying to curb that by getting more sleep so that's how i ended up going to sleep at the times i had tried to go to sleep last night but even though I got enough sleep, I overdid it by sleeping in before my class. And so, you know, when you get too much sleep, you still end up tired. So that is what happened today. But I'm going to try my best to curb that from happening any other day this week. Also, I've been going to class because before this, I was not going to class. Like Tuesdays and Thursdays, them classes, my classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays start later than my Monday, Wednesday, Friday classes. My Monday, Wednesday, Friday classes start at 9.20, but my classes on Tuesdays and Thursdays start at 9.40. So I have more time, but what ends up happening because I have more time is I sleep more than I should and I end up oversleeping and getting too much sleep and still being tired. And then I end up just not going to class, which is bad. So I have been going to class. I've been eating more. I haven't been eating at home, like I said, but I have been eating more i was going through a low point in my life where i just you know i could not stomach anything and i did not have no appetite at all because i was just 
so sad and I was like what's the point of eating if I'm just gonna be sad if the food isn't gonna make me feel better then <laughs> I don't want to eat but I have been doing a better job at eating and life has just been on the up you know what I mean like today I have been just taking better care of myself making sure to breathe like you, you guys saw earlier I was really wound up I'm still a little bit wound up but I'm not as wound up as I was earlier I'm just I don't I don't know what like happened today but it's just been uh and I think that I'm really excited for the photo shoot but also like I'm kind of nervous because I'm like what if it doesn't turn out right what if my pictures don't come out okay but at the end of the day like I I want to take my focus away from that and focus more on the fact that I should appreciate myself for giving myself this opportunity to just showcase myself and my beauty and make myself feel good and just give myself a chance to feel pretty like I got flowers I'm gonna be out there shirtless with flowers over my boobs and taking pictures of me looking pretty I got this big afro on giving big black I got on an all black swimsuit I'm giving them body y'all can't see the whole thing y'all see it later but you know what I mean I'm really doing it right now so I just want to take my mind off of what's making me anxious and just focus on what would make me happy and grateful and appreciative. So that's what we're going to do. I'm going to finish getting ready and I will probably see you guys once I get ready to leave. Alexa, what time is it? It's 3.40 p.m. All right, so it's currently 3.40, which means I have an hour and 20 minutes to just you know relax do a little meditation calm the fuck down because <laughs> i am just i'm so anxious right now and it feels like i'm having an outer body experience like it feels like i am like i'm not in my body right now and it's a good thing on one hand because i'm really excited but on the other hand it's like i can't i can barely function <laughs> like i can barely talk and i'm supposed to be vlogging right now and that doesn't really help but before I went into my meditation and journaling and stuff like that, I wanted to show you guys the swimsuit. Here we go. Ow, ow, ow. 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 Okay. <laughs> too much, too much. Y'all see it later. Y'all see more later. Y'all see more later. Y'all see more later. So, um, that's the swimsuit. I just wanted to give you guys a little sneak peek. And I will give you guys another look at the flowers because they're fucking gorgeous. And I paid $25 for them, so you're going to look at them until I feel like I've gotten my money's worth. <laughs> These are the flowers. And I made sure that I was going to originally get like the 3 for 12 flowers, but I didn't feel like it would be enough to cover my boobs. Because I'm not going to have something holding them to the middle of my chest like this. They're going to be, you know, why did I almost, almost pull this down? Anyways, they're going to be like free, you know, they're going to be, they sit up, but like, they're gonna be doing their own thing. So I wanted something that covers like the whole thing. That way when I'm, you know what I mean? It's not, you know, poking out the side or poking out the side or doing too much, you know what I mean? This is a pretty good bunch of flowers for that. Um, what else? Y'all see how I'm out of breath right now? Like, why am I hyperventilating? <laughs> it's just so crazy. I, I need to talk to my therapist because also, Y'all already know this, but I'm in therapy and I've been, you know, just trying to self-recognize or self-reflect on the things that I go through every day and writing them down and keeping note of them so that I can talk to my therapist about them. And this will be in this week's meeting because, girl, I don't know what the hell is going on. But I wanted to show you guys my reading for today. I got the Five of Swords, which is upheaval conflict is loss and this one is just telling me about my victim mentality and how i need to drop it and really take accountability for what is going on in my life and stop trying to control like what may have happened in the past that is affecting my present and focus more on the present so i can have better control of my future and then i also got the judgment card i have been in a lot of situations where i have needed to reassess things so reassess lessons that i've learned from the past reassess like the people that i allow myself to be around and that i allow to be around me reassess some of the things and the habits that i have and just reassessing just a lot of aspects of my life so i just need to you know zone in and ask myself do all of these things that i allow in my life and i allow myself to do 
are they conducive to what i am trying to achieve and what i'm trying to manifest and then the last card that i got was page of cups and this one says fun magic and love and i feel like this card has a lot to do with me finding love a lot more platonically and having a lot more fun with my friends because i'm in this period of emphasis on solitude i feel like i'm missing out on the things that i usually get to do with my friends because i'm spending so much time alone and just making more time for myself out of the week i often like would rather <laughs> be out with my friends than reading a book or journaling or doing shadow work or fasting and doing all this other stuff but this stuff is really crucial to me and i think that this is just a affirmation for me to recognize that even though i'm doing a lot of stuff for myself and that's going to make me better in the future i also have a lot in store coming up with my friends for when i you know i'm able to obtain that balance between you know solitude and hanging out with my friends so i'm really excited for that and i'm really excited for this photo shoot and i'm really excited for everything else that is to come today in this week in this month in this year and yeah i'm gonna go ahead and do all this stuff that i need to do before this photo shoot so i can calm myself down and not be so jittery because I'm, I'm up right now. I'm just gonna go calm down and I'll see you guys when I get ready to go. made it to the garden we've already taken a few pictures but i'll show you guys what it looks like it's super beautiful my nerves are kind of going down you know i was really excited earlier calm down a little bit i could definitely take some pictures in this chair and this little walkway right here like so yeah i'll get some horizontal footage because i'll be getting a lot of footage from my reels and you guys will just see the process I be so sick of your niggas, I can't do ding ding. I be so bold myself, when you come and fuck me. I feel so ordinary, said when you won't round me. Treat me like all the white, wear me out. Arguments, you air me out. Tripping about your whereabouts. I can keep no perfect, but you what can we just rub it out? I don't want no sanity, you know you my thug, and I can't shake this habit. No, I've been out, baby. Every reminiscence Every I'm a missing, no wishing. Yeah. 
So we just got done doing our preliminary shooting. We're just exploring the rest of the garden. I think we did a really good job. Super excited to see the end results. Raw photo is looking real good though, cause, cause I eat like that. Right here. All right, we're gonna take some more photos y'all. So the next time you guys see me, I'll probably be back home. All right y'all, here's so many pictures. Super cute. You see me. It's gonna be black, big purr. Can't show them too much though. Okay. <laughs> Plug your Instagram. Let the people know who it is. Oh. Slime shots underscore slime shots purr. underscore. <laughs> okay y'all, I am back from the shoot. I just got done. I put on my bummies and all the coconut oil has been scrubbed away from my body. So yeah, the shoot went really good as you guys can see. And it made me really feel good. And I'm glad that I did this for myself because I really needed to be reminded. And I was talking to my photographer about this. I really needed to be reminded that I am a baddie. You know what I mean? I was going to say a bad B word. But I'm trying to limit my cursing because, you know, Ramadan's coming up. I did need a reminder that I'm still pretty and I'm still able to do some of the things that I have been wanting to do and some of the things that I like to do, even if I don't have certain people in my life. So that is what I use this photo shoot as a catalyst for. And I'm so happy that I gave myself the opportunity to showcase my beauty and just my essence and it was giving eve in the garden of eden you know what i mean but yeah um, i will go ahead and drop my photographer's details below he did a really good job go ahead and book him if you're in the tallahassee area but yeah that's gonna be the end of this video i hope you guys enjoyed it it might be a little bit shorter than most of my videos most of my videos are like 20 30 minutes long i don't think this is gonna touch 20 minutes but if it doesn't it's okay I'm sure y'all have been wanting shorter videos because y'all don't have time to sit there and watch 30 to 50 minute videos all the time. Anyways, if it's shorter, it's okay. If it's long like all the other ones, that's even better. But um, I will see you guys in my next one. Bye.